Hey guys, it's your boy Kim and Kid back with another video. Today I'm gonna be telling you guys the story of Skinwalker Ranch. So back in northeastern Utah, long time ago, the Navajo tribe resided, and the Utes came and take tried to take the land over. And when they tried to do that, the Navajo tribe decided to place a curse called the Skinwalker Curse on the land. And that curse just basically allowed witches to take form or wear the skin of predatory animals like wolves, bears, and other other animals like that and just basically haunt the land. So fast forward to 1994 and the, ho the whole 500 acres of, ran of ranch was bought, was bought and the family was actually just really happy because they got the land for less amount of money because of the weird things happening on the things on the ranch but the family was so happy that they didn't even really notice all the first sightings of weird things that they seen when they went in the house things like there were locks on all the doors and windows that were leading to the outside there were locks on the inside of the house and on the outside of the house and there were even locks on the doors leading into other rooms and windows all over the house but they didn't even really care about that they was just happy that they got the house and so one day as the family was moving in one of the family members noticed a wolf in the tree line and they've had experiences on ranches before so they told the family about it the rest of the family about it and they somewhat went on with the day but like kind of they somewhat went on with unpacking but eventually the whole family was staring at it because it was coming closer and so they were just looking at it and as they were looking at it they all, they noted that it was like six feet tall which was unnatural and so it was six foot tall it wasn't running it was just nonchalantly walking up to them normal it was like a domesticated dog it was just walking up to them but it was six feet tall and then it walked over to the cattle and it started attacking the cattle and the family was the family was like out of their shock and out of their trance and they started attacking the wolf but their attacks didn't end up doing any damage or any impact on the wolf eventually the wolf wasn't able to actually get the cattle so it just went so it just nonchalantly walked back off into the forest and the family still tried to attack it make sure that like it doesn't come back and stuff but the wolf didn't even feel it, it didn't there no impact no blood no scars no wounds nothing the wolf just went on normally and so there was that the oh yeah and the family actually the three of the family members actually grabbed their rifles and actually tried to take after the wolf into the money forest and they seen the wolf's footprints but suddenly they just stopped and the wolf was nowhere to be found or anything it was just a footprint stopped and the wolf wasn't there nothing they went back inside told the family so that they're on the lookout and kind of just went on with their life but also one of the other family members had remembered or not remembered but they hadn't connected the fact that one of the other family members had some strange occurrences that was like they would put items they would put items away and find them back in the same spot like they didn't put them away like they yeah and so they and so actually after more similar events the whole family started like connecting everything to their wolf experience they connected the fact that there were locks on on everything they connected the fact that their items was was going missing and their items was going missing and reappearing in places like in, pl in odd places the family also noticed weird lights around their property just like weird lights around the property in the distance and at first they thought it was a truck a truck's headlights but after a while the lights were still there and they just realized that oh okay so it's pro it's either some lights that are like paranormal or it's just somebody's truck and so either way they start either way they started getting like a little anxious and so they ended up Char they ended up charging and like basically getting ready to approach the lights and so as they were getting closer well once they got close the lights actually like backed up and they, they retreated and then they floated up away and the uh the family member was just like was just like awestruck like he it was just he was just like in shock and stuff but anyway so they went back they went back and during the winter the family notices that their animals have been quote unquote running away and just disappearing without any trace and so they notice that and they can't really do nothing about it because they don't know the cause behind it so one of the family members just takes their rifle and 
every now and then just like kind of goes and stalks their own land you know hides behind bushes and just trying to find out like what's taking their animals or what's making their animals run away and so one day the family member sees a creature that's like floating in the tree line and its lights are basically kind of look like its legs but it's just it's just a, a light or basically or not orb it's just some sort of light creature that's 20 feet high up in the tree line and so they see it and they to get a better look at it they kind of like move a little bit and they make the smallest sound against the branch and all of a sudden like immediately the lights of the creature turn off and the creature seems to stare at them and so the the person is just like staring back at it in shock behind the branch or behind the bush i mean in shock and after a while the creature just like runs or just runs away and we could see it or the person could see it float back up after that strange encounter their live the family's livestock started showing back up in random parts of the or random parts of the ranch with missing body parts and cuts all over the place like they had just been like like they had just been through surgery and also at the house like at random times or random times mostly during the night they would see humanoid fig dark humanoid figures emotionlessly emotionlessly walking around the property and sometimes even peeking in their windows like really close up and the family noted that they had no face and so the family began began being anxious and being, and being scared and they stopped sleeping and so because they stopped sleeping the kids performed horribly in school the wife lost their job and the whole thing was just like failing drastically one family member notices an orangish orb that appeared in the tree line and describes it as a portal and they're just staring at it and they see a dark figure crawling out of it but and it's just like they just see the portal a dark figure crawls out of it the portal disappears and the creature kind of just runs away it doesn't really nothing really else happens along that portal line yet and so they so just the next few days the family not notice that there are like blue orbs that all of a sudden like when the orbs come around all of a sudden they would have like an enhanced feeling of anxiety and not because of not because they're just scared but it's just like that's the energy the orbs were literally giving off and they knew it was because of the orbs, because of how much peace they felt once the orb left. And so one day, an orb shows up, and a family member and the dogs notice it. And the dogs are the dogs start barking and growling at the orb. And the family member decides to let the dogs go, just maybe scare the dog. Off, I mean, scare the orb off. And he see well, they see that it actually starts working. Like the dogs are chasing towards our speeding towards the orb the orb is like slowly backing up and it ends up going retreating into the forest and the dogs chase it and so the orb goes into the forest the dogs go in the forest you can't see the orb or the dogs anymore you can just hear the dogs barking and at first the person felt relief but then they felt like really they actually ended up feeling like scared because the dog started whining and started yelping and so the but the person was just like they were so scared they didn't really want they didn't they, do, they were too scared to go check it out so they retreated back inside locked all the make made sure that they secured all the locks and just told the family about it the next day him and another family member went out to go look for the dogs but they only found three piles of ashes where the dogs were last heard they found three piles of ashes, and around the ashes looked like there had just been, like, a fire recently. But, like, there was no, they didn't see, like, they don't remember any of that happening. Okay, and so now the family just, they just want to leave. 
and so they leave they sell the home they sell well, they sell it not the home they sell the ranch to a billionaire who actually wants to make the who actually made the land made then walk a ranch his hq with a bunch of other scientists for paranormal research and so and also what the like the leader of the old or the old family member he also stayed back and was kind of like he wanted to know what was going on with the ranch too and so he stayed back and basically was like the ranch lead the ranch leader because it was just a bunch of scientists this billionaire and they didn't really know much about what was going on so they needed they also could use some of his knowledge from his experience on the farm on the ranch i mean and so they okay so the scientists get there after they have their after they make their setup in the house the scientists check for Plants that may give off hallucinogenic pores, they check for contaminated water, and they just check any other environmental factors that could maybe lead to hallucination or delusional or being delusional because they want to make sure that this is actual paranormal stuff and that the family is not being hallucinated. Uh, yeah, the family is not just hallucinal. Halluc yeah. And so the they check and they see that there's no weird plants weird water the neighbors are saying the neighbors are agreeing that they see this stuff too and so the scientists are now like okay so this stuff is definitely paranormal but in the first year that the scientists are there nothing really happens so they see the ores but otherwise it's just it's just nothing and so one day as they're tagging the cows or tagging yeah they bring cows and so one day as they're tagging the cows, a dog that uh, one of their dogs starts growling at the cow and they don't pay attention to they don't pay attention to the cow or the dog. They just continue tagging the stuff. And like, you know, it's a, they have a lot of cows, so they have to go around, around the whole area and tag all the cows. And so they end up coming back to the cow that the dog was still growling and barking at and they find out that the cow has been like magically dissected and like again looks like it had just had gone through surgery whatever had just dissected it had only left the head and the legs and also a note also the ear that the tag was on was also cutting off the people they end up getting a veterinarian and they just like no, they they get everybody who they can to try to make sense of it, and nobody can make sense of it. So, they have like a mass search of the area to try to find out like what happened. And they had like four different guard dogs who were like they had four different guard dogs that were like positioned separately away, like pretty much far away. There was a it's a five hundred acres, and so they got four different guard dogs positioned to just pay attention right and so they noticed that all the guard dog are all, all the guard dogs were put um were all staring at this in the same direction and so the billy well the scientists and the the scientists they investigate and they see something in the forest that's like they see something in the forest that's a mat like it's like a massive humanoid wolf um looking creature like it looks like a werewolf and it's like really big and it's perched on a branch and they just see it and once they see it well once like a little while after it must have noticed that they were there because it turns around and like disappears and they end up actually chasing after it and they see it's and obviously and like you know it must have jumped off the tree and started running away and so they see its footprints but just like all the other animals and creatures that's been going late going off into the forest its footprints disappear too one day the scientists had some the scientists had four bulls and they noticed that the bulls went missing and there was this trailer that was like abandoned like it was yeah there was this trailer that was abandoned it was chained up and it was pretty small and just because and for pretty much no reason one of them looked in there and they ended up actually seeing the bulls in there like all four bulls were in that small trailer just crammed in there and they were just like they weren't even they weren't fighting or anything they weren't surprised or anything they were the bulls were just in there and they ended up calling everybody they ended up calling a few people over and which actually um ended up alarming the bulls and they basically kind of like got out of their trance or like 
they alarmed the bulls and so the bulls started like trying the bulls started kicking and banging the trailer and pretty much each other each other because they didn't even have enough space to do all that and so they ended up getting the bulls out of there and they ended up getting the bulls out of there so another day another day two scientists they take their compasses around the ranch and check for magnetic field and while they're doing that they smell like a really bad smell like it's just a really bad smell that comes around pretty much any time that wolf or that any time that wolf comes around like that wolf that big long that t six foot tall wolf comes around that's when they smell that smell and but they don't really like connect those two together yet but they smell it and they realize that their compass have stopped the the magnetic compass has stopped pointing towards north and had actually started pointing towards where the smell was coming from and but the last encounter that we the last the last encounter or summer encounter was when the sign was one night when the scientists when two scientists was basically just like you know on the lookout i guess and they seen off in the forest again the orange portal that uh and another and another hu dark humanoid creature came out and instead of just like you know running off back into the tree line and running or running back into the forest it actually ran up towards them and it was like sp speeding up towards them and they were just in shock and um 30 feet like 30 feet away from them to their sides so not in front of them or not behind them just out it ran past them to um 30 feet away from this from them didn't i don't think it really even noticed them because it just ran past them and ran into the mountain side and that was pretty much the last thing that actually happened after the few years went by and nobody heard of no there was no creatures just the orbs that was com just the orbs that was coming around and so eventually in 2004 the research just completely stopped all right guys that's the end of story time hope you guys liked it if you did like it make sure you go hide the like buttons items and pretend that it was a skinwalker make sure you guys also go and comment down below if y'all want to hear more story time and also guys just remember to stay strong remember that you're not crazy and always trust your gut bye